Welcome back. I'm Kevin Lockin with Mitchell Acoustical, and today we're going to drill and rekey a door. Before we get started, we have to talk about cylinders and keys. Uh, there's two different types of keys uh, and cylinders that we're going to be working with. The key behind me, uh, the, the lock set, it actually has six pins inside the cylinder. Um, and you'll notice that by the key that it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And when you, when you slide the key in and turn those pins, that's what unlocks the latch. Um, what we're gonna be installing is a five pin. One, two, three, four, five. And you can always count those by the points on your key. Why that's important is because when we're drilling into a lock, we wanna know beforehand how many pins we wanna feel that we're drilling through when we go to drill this lock um, so that we don't drill into the throat of the lock set and actually ruin the internal guts of that lock set. The issue here today is that we have a door that isn't uh, the same key as all the other doors in the office. So what we're gonna do, and we don't happen to have this key, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill out uh, the lock here behind me and we are going to pop the pins. We're going to take the lever off take the internal off of the cylinder, pop a new cylinder in there, and then put a new lever on there so that all the doors in our office are keyed alike. The tools that you'll need here today will be a drill, drill bits, new cylinder, maybe some pliers if, if that cylinder doesn't come out and you can, you can grab it, uh, and definitely safety glasses. First thing we do is pick a drill bit size. Um, I'm fond of the 530 seconds when starting my hole, um, but like I said, we're gonna wanna slowly work this in there and feel for those six pins as we're, as we're drilling out the lock. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, put on my safety glasses. We're gonna start off the drilling process with our eighth and then step it up to a 532nd drill bit. And right there you saw, I felt the back of the cylinder itself and that's when I stopped and backed it, backed it out. So that means that I've damaged all the pins internally in there, and that's what we want to be able to take this off. So now we're gonna take our 532nds uh, bit, and we're going to step this out to make a bigger uh, impact on the inside of this cylinder. And again, I'm only drilling to where it stops me. Maybe it. All right, so I think that I drilled past the tab on the back of the cylinder. Um, and basically there's a there's a throat in there and there's a pin. And that pin that we're pushing right here won't engage until that tab is turned some way or the other or just drilled through. Um, so as I'm gonna try and pull this off, I'll show you guys me drilling through that tab, which is what I think that I felt as I was going through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this popped off. Okay, so our, this, is, this is the big thing is, is getting this lever off. So now we have the old cylinder. Um, and as you guys can see, I got it all the way drilled through. I stepped it three or four different times um, from I think about an eighth to five thirty seconds. Um, and as you can see, this pin, which had been parallel with the key slot, all of a sudden got turned because it caught on my drill bit, which then stopped that pin inside the door from not engaging. So once, once that this was out of, out of the parallel with this point, I was able to take this pin, just like any other uh, lock set, take this pin, pop it in here and pull the lock set out. So if you guys can kind of get an idea of what, of what we did here. So I pop this in here. This 
would have been lined up with this, but instead I was able to drill it out of the way, which allowed that pin to engage to pull this lock set off. We're not gonna go too much into the cylinder portion of it and replacing it. We already shot a video. We'll go ahead and link that in the description. But for anybody that didn't see it, um, we have our cylinder, our replacement. We're gonna go ahead and seat it into the latch. Uh, next, we're gonna take it and turn it back 45 degrees. Okay. Which gets us away from this mechanism. Remember, when we were drilling it out, it was horizontal. So now we have it at a 45 so that it gets away from this mechanism. This mechanism can go ahead and move on the door. I'm going to go ahead, push it in there, take the key out, and now we've just replaced our cylinder by drilling it out. And that's how we would drill and rekey a door. Um, remember, you have to figure out if it's the five or six pins and then go ahead and step your drill bits uh, accordingly to that. The next thing is, is that you want to make sure that with that activation pin on the door, the tab on the back of the cylinder is not horizontal because that'll drive that pin right into there and you won't be able to get the lever off. Um, so you have to make sure that that, that that pin gets either driven up or down out of the way of that activation pin on the door itself. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions, don't forget to hit us down below. Uh, we'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And as always, uh, take care and we'll see you guys on the next one.